All right, let's go. Ready, Keith, dude. Oh, I'm back. Okay, help me out. Sin three. All you gotta do is plug in. <clears throat> Cody, what are you gonna do? Tell her you back that paper. She stole it. Get back the paper. Okay, what do you do? Sin three. What do you do? You do sin. Wait, no. Yeah, you do yeah, sin. You do sin. Three, three, and equals. And equals. Holy cats, you're smart. All right. Holy point zero five two three. Point zero five two three. Point zero five. Same thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> two three. Okay. And that's it. Hey. That's it. That's all you have to do. The next one. So you're gonna do tangent. Hey guys. Focus. Tangent 40 equals 0. 0.8391. It's 83909. Now check it out. This 9 is going to take that up to a 1. 8391. They always want four pieces. Okay? When, they, when you do sine, cosine, tangent, they want you to have four pieces. Okay? Alright, next. This is a very tough problem, so play, please pay attention. Actually, it's not that hard. Shoot. I think I can get through the next one, too. All right, remember. Remember our Pythagorean triples. What are they? What? Never heard that before in my life. Pythagorean triples. Guys. Three, four, five triangle. That's my Pythagorean triple because it always works on that Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared, okay? A squared is 9 plus B squared is 16 equals C squared, which is 25. 9 plus 16 is 25 equals 25. That's a Pythagorean triple. We have a few of them. They're out on that back wall up there. You were supposed to write them down, 3, 4, 5. You're supposed to write down 5, 12, 13. You're supposed to write down 7, 24, 25. And I think the other one's 8, 15, 17. Okay? These are the most commonly used Pythagorean triples. If I look at this guy, I notice that that's 2 times 3. And I also notice that 10 is 2 times 5. So what do you think this side's going to be? 2 times 4. Yeah. 2 times 4, which is how much? 12. 8. Okay. So we have this 6 and 8, right? Now, theta is here, and the reason why I did that is because the number 19 wants me to do cotangent, doesn't it? Yeah. So number 19 wants you to do a cotangent. Now, we got to remember back when we learned so ka toa that this was sine, cosine, Tangent, right? But then there was another set. Cosecant. Co, no co. Co, no co. Secant. Co, no co. Cotangent. Now I know that the tangent goes with the cotangent. So the way I remember which one goes with, with the other is by just putting the co and the no co. Does that make sense? And so this one is cosecant. This one is secant. And this one is cotangent. And what I want to remember is they're flipped. So this is H over O. This is H over A. This is A, o, A over O. So the way I like to remember is C can't be a ho. That's kind of funny. So it's a ha. Alright, don't laugh. 
And then this <laughs> is secant, uh, co-secant is a hoe. What? So, Can you call her a hoe? Oh. Jeez, if the shoe fit, put it on. And then the cotangent is AO. And I don't know, I just. AO. So, whatever. So, there's just ways to try to remember it. Okay? But the one thing is, is they're just flipped. That's it. So, when they're talking about cotangent, they're talking about the flip of tangent. If tangent's OA, this is AO. Okay? So I just gotta know which one's opposite, which one's adjacent. Oh. I go from theta, so I know this is opposite. That means this is adjacent. If it's AO, then the cotangent of theta is equal to six over eight. But we're not done, right? Because what goes into six and eight? Two. How many times? Three and four. four. Boom. So the cotangent of theta is equal to three fourths. Is that okay? I'm trying to